Hello friends and welcome to another episode of My Bucket List Day. Today we are going to go in for service at Lazy Days in Tampa and get some long overdue warranty work done. Uh, we had ordered parts almost six months ago really. All the parts for all the things that need to be repaired are in. At least I'm told they're in. So we'll see when we get in there. So as I'm going to check in, why don't you guys watch this and I'll be right back. So here I am in front of the service pavilion and we're going to walk in and get checked in. everyone we're in the service center with Lori Thompson who is going to be our service advisor hello hello who's going to check us in and get us through everything we need to do today and I'm thinking tomorrow too I'm not sure if it's going to get it all done today depending on what the fridge issue is and if we have to order anything for it well I think it's been on order for six months now um, we have a let's see a left hand door assembly uh, just the flapper part. Okay, and that's the only issue. There's no other like cooling issues or anything with the fridge. Okay. No. And then we've got your new bed platform, which we have the parts here for that as well. Right. Okay. I just got back from the shop, letting him know that you were here, so they should pull it back pretty quickly. Oh, it's hooked um, to my truck right now. Okay, so we'll have to get it unhooked. Okay. So I could just have you sign right here that we do not request an estimate since it's warranty. Okay. Yep, right there. Oh, right here. Today is the sixth. It is. All right, crew, that wasn't too painful. Now we're walking out to the unit to uh, get it tagged and get it ready to go in the bay, as you heard. We try to make it as easy as possible. So you can see there's a lot of units here. I assume these are all for service. Typically, yes. This, this is me. Okay, we're getting tagged. We're checked in. All right then. Okay. Just disconnected. Now we're gonna go into parts and meet Jim, who has been the hero in getting all these parts ordered. And it has been challenging. Uh, the bed platform that they had to order was custom made and there's all mix ups and stuff and who was supposed to order it. Uh, long story short, Jim came to the rescue and got it done. So, uh, let's go meet Jim. Okay, now you can wait. This is Jim, who as I said before has been the hero in getting everything ordered for us. Thank you for the compliment. And uh, he's got a few parts for us and the rig is, as you know, already out there to get serviced. And uh, Jim, you got some stuff for us. Yes, we do. Yep, we have a bed platform. We have some awning parts. Part. And then uh, we're awesome. going to check on the refrigerator part as well. That should be here, right? 
Um, after check on the last, uh, since we spoke last, okay, they did say it was going to be borderline, right? Yeah, and they did. So um, I'll check. Let's reach out to Grand Design, see what's that. Well, I, yeah, I can check. Them. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah. Actually. Cool. Oh, the Arnie parts. So we've got s some parts here already, and we're going to check on the uh, refrigerator part. Hopefully that's in, because that's been a pain in the ass. Okay. Here we are after all the parts and everything else back in uh, my truck. They just pulled the unit after eh, about two hours of sitting out in the lot into the bay. Apparently they're not going to work on it today at all. Uh, and Jim, he, uh, again, he did a fantastic job. He found all the other parts that I needed, and I've got those, and I told him that I'd install a lot of these parts rather than them go through service, which would take forever for them to do it. I can get it all done in probably 30 minutes. However, I did get a note from, or I shouldn't say a note, I did get a manager come over and say, no, they don't allow filming in the bay or the service bay area. So... I'll see if I can sneak some filming in while, while they're doing it. Um, however, I will be in the unit, so we'll be able to see progress. So I guess that's it. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. So good morning, everyone. It's day two in the service bay. Interesting sleeping in a service bay in your rig. Uh, got air compressors and stuff like that going off. And today, we are getting the bed platform as you see it's it's wider than the mattress so they are going to be replacing this platform for a queen size platform for my queen size mattress and uh, also that headboard I think is going to be an issue that's going to have to be cut down into a queen size as well so I'll have to take one of those little padded panels off and basically trim down the length of everything else so we'll see how that comes out now they're not going to let me record in the shop however i'm going to try to sneak a little and be a little covert uh, in doing so so the camera quality or might be a little bouncing around but let me see what i can get accomplished so here we are platform has been removed Now we're adjusting the headboard. So here's the headboard. The cushion piece has already been resized. We took out basically one section of this. Took that out. And now we're going to cut this down. But we got to wait for the platform to show up so we know the, so we know the exact dimensions or length. And then here it is from down below in the garage. Could have been done already, but we're waiting for them to bring the platform over here. All right. Everything's installed. Had a manager here the whole time, so I couldn't film. So here's the after. Look at this. I can walk down this aisle now. Pretty cool. New headboard or resized headboard. I just have to fix this up here. That's not a big deal. While they were working on that, I did a lot of the other repairs, like the refrigerator. I put on the new flap. That works now. And we're good to go. We'll wrap this up. So, in conclusion, uh, everything is done. Well, all but one thing that the ball kind of got dropped on something, and I have to do a little follow up. Um, it's not really anybody's fault. It was a uh, communication error between Lazy Days and Grand Design. Um, I had copied people on emails, and apparently they didn't follow up with each other as they said they would. Anyway. I will tell you, the overall experience at Lazy Days was very, very good. 
Uh, everyone I encountered from every department uh, were all very kind, very friendly, and tried to go that extra mile to make sure that I was satisfied and happy with everything that was going on. So I'll give you guys uh, a rating for that. I will say that there is several times that it doesn't seem like uh, one hand knew what the other hand was doing. Um, for example, the platform, the bed platform was supposed to be delivered to uh, the spot or the bay, service bay where I was at. Um, not once, not twice, but three times. And apparently because someone else passed the buck or asked somebody else to do it and didn't get done and uh, things like that. So basically we were waiting around a little bit when that uh, shouldn't have. So if I was a manager, I'd kind of be a little irked. We got service guys just standing there for an hour waiting for a part to show up. That's across a parking lot. Uh, a little frustrating. At any rate, um, that happened on a few other things. So I guess maybe they all could learn from the uh, whole trust but verify uh, rule that I always try to follow. Um, and maybe things would improve on that end. But like I said, everybody was fantastic there from the people who checked me in all the way to the technicians that were working on my unit. Uh, very friendly, very kind, and uh, always wanted to make sure I was satisfied with everything that was happening. So, great job. Thumbs up to Lazy Days for that. So that was my experience overall uh, for service. I got several things done, everything's fixed. I'm happy with all that. And now it's time to do the Patriot Games. You guys ready for this? This uh, location, I think it's going to be pretty easy for most of you, um, but we'll see. So take a look at this and we'll be right back. Welcome back. You guys think you know where it is? Remember, go below to hit the link or go to my website, hit the link to enter the contest. You got to fill out that form. Again, below is where you get it. Do not. The prizes are piling up and we'll be announcing what all of them are very soon. I'm waiting for a couple uh, really fun ones that are going to be joining the prize package, if you will. Um, so again, I hope everybody likes and subscribes to this channel. Um, get hit that bell so you're notified for my next uh, video release and that's it for this uh, episode make it a great day goodbye <laughs>